Hey, I'm Seth with Land of House. Thank you so much for watching today. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. So basically, every one foot of drop that comes into this pump, it'll lift seven feet out. It's pretty amazing. A question was asked, what happens if you have a limited space for your drive pipe and you used a series of 90s to kind of zigzag the drive pipe down in a small space? Today, we're gonna to be finding out what happens. So let's jump over here to the setup and get started. I have a bucket up here to act as the water source and about a five foot drop in head pressure over here to my pump. So the first thing I want to do is get a reading on a 20 foot section of drive pipe down this five foot head pressure. And then we're gonna be using the space right next to my unfinished kids playhouse to test out the two 10 foot sections of pipe with this series of 90s that will just kind of zigzag down here. So what I'm anticipating is going to happen, we're gonna get a nice uh, cycle time and pressure with this 20 foot straight pipe, possibly a little bit fast on the valve, but it should be pretty good. And then whenever we go over here and have the zigzag, I anticipate that there is going to be a slow cycle time and reduced pressure. So let's see if I'm right. Let's go ahead and get the air out of our drive pipe here. Turn that valve on, follow this down here to the pump, and we will turn this side on. Okay, there's still a bit of air that we need to purge out most likely. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, let me go start my source bucket to always refill itself so our test can be consistent. Here's the deal. I'm gonna go ahead and start the pump and when it begins to cycle on its own, I'm going to start the stopwatch and count the cycles. And then at one minute, I will check the pressure. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So our results were one minute, 69 cycles. And the pressure got up to 36 PSI. We're still gonna be using 20 foot of drive pipe. It's just going to be kind of zigzagged down from the water source here. So I've got 190 up top, and I've got this double 90 right here, which will come down a little ways. And then lastly, I'll have the other section of 10 foot pipe right down here. And I'm gonna use this two by four to kind of keep it propped up so that it's not gonna be falling over, hopefully. We'll just go right there, see how well that works. And lastly, we'll connect the pump down here at the bottom. Just for the fun of it, I'm gonna add a 45 down here and that will bring it kind of level out from the ground. So here's the new setup. Same bucket comes down, makes a 180, comes back down here, hits a 45, and then over to the pump. So if this starts, we will do the same where I find the pressure and then count the cycles as it goes here. And hopefully we'll get some decent results. Start the water back here at the top. It's gonna fill that pipe. Come down here and open this one. It's got some dirt in there. And some air. Okay, hopefully that's all the air out of that. Let's go ahead and start our test. I've made sure the pressure is out of the pressure tank there. That's just water flowing straight through. So as soon as this starts cycling, I will begin our timer. 
four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, and shut it off here. So we have 60 at 60 seconds. So basically it slowed it down to one a second. So we had about uh, 10 different there. Let's see what our pressure is. The pressure is exactly the same. Yeah, pressure is exactly the same. It may be about one less, but basically the same. So my prediction was actually half right. The cycle time slowed down which was actually better because we want it to be at one a second. The pressure was less, but there may have been something else that was affecting that. There seemed to be more bounce in the drive pipe on this lower section than there would have been on the straight 20. And that may have actually reduced just enough to get that extra little bit of PSI. So, uh, fun test. It shows that yes, you can have a very low profile drive pipe and get that head pressure you need instead of having to extend this way out over there, the 20 foot. So is there an application for this kind of drive pipe? Probably. I'm thinking maybe if you had a waterfall that came off of a big rock, you could then zigzag your drive pipe and then have the delivery pipe go right up to your storage tanks and not have to have a long run of the drive pipe. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and be sure to ring the notification bell so you can get more ram pump videos in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.